Hey guys, I am back again for another Superman Returns figure review, and now we're going to be taking a look at the X-Ray Alert Superman. I promised this before, I mentioned it before in uh, the Clark to Superman figure review from previously, that I was going to get this figure, because something about it actually does spark a lot of interest in my opinion. So, without further ado, I'm going to go over the package, because we're going to go as quick as possible. Starting from the top, there you see the Superman Returns logo, both logos up there with Brandon Routh beefed up as Superman. And you can see the figure itself, although the package itself is basically a little worn out. I did find a cheaper option, which they did say that this package was definitely worn up. So it wasn't as good in condition as the Clark Kent figure that we went over. And then down here you get the figure in demonstration looking at the supposed lead casing with a kryptonite bomb. Yes, and that's what that thing is. Take a close-up look at that. And then down there you got the warning signs on the bottom and the DC logo over there. At the back, once again, we have the bio up there, which I might be able to focus on. Yeah, there you go. There's the bio up there. Superman Returns logo again. And then the demonstration of where you can put the kryptonite bomb inside that lead casing for Superman to try to break it out, but again, he would probably fall for the wrong thing. And I think the arms might be locked on to uh, get him to smash it down, which I did not know that, actually. It was funny. I was going to buy it just because of the head sculpt, but, well, we'll get to it more later. So here we have more figures, which we have Super Breath Superman, and I think that's Up, Up, and Away Superman over there with Bulletproof Superman and the X-Ray Alert Superman, which we're going over right now. More stuff over there, Strength, Power, and Flight. The Superman Returns Toys website, which is out of focus for some random reason. And down there, we have the barcode, we have the Superman logo, we have the Mattel logo, DC Warner Brothers logos, and all sorts of other things, and a service.mattel.com thing right there. But that stuff's not important now. Let's go ahead and get this figure out the package. And here is the X-Ray Alert Superman out the package, and already... Just like the last figure, I was pretty impressed with how it was. But with this one, I think I like this one a lot more. Just the Superman figure as a whole. And while I have it out now, I do still like the Clark Kent figure. I only like it because I dress it up as Clark Kent. And it looks, it still looks pretty nice to be, like, to uh, dress it up all that way. So, um, I'll just go and leave this aside right here. But let's go take a look at this Superman figure. Aside from that small little paint dad that's like right on his right eyebrow despite that this is what i was expecting how the figure should look like this likeness to brandon routh is exactly what i was uh talking about from the previous figure that i went over now as you can see the previous clark camp figure now with this one when you put the head and put the head cap on there with the glasses it sort of basically takes away the uh 50 50 likeness and makes it look more like brandon routh when he's clark Kent. i mean that's how i see it but with this one, yeah, that's Brandon Ralph right there. There's no questions uh, to ask about that. I freaking love that. So this was a major improvement already. And like I said before, it's nicely detailed. And this is a different uh, Superman sculpt. The suit, still awesome. Still think it's really cool. And um, don't have too much go over, except, oh yeah, right, the legs, they're much more positioned. And they're not uh, warped like the Clark Kent figure was. So, um, yeah, and also I love how the fists, his fists are like tightened up for him to uh, be in an action of flying. I really love that. And yeah, and he's also got the awesome uh, fabric cape, which looks really cool. <laughs> like again, it's just amazing. I just love that head sculpt. Just look at that. It looks like him. That's exactly what I was wanting. So this is like the definite uh, best Superman Returns figure I've bought in so far since the Clark Kent figure. So nothing too much to go over the figure. The aesthetic of the uh, Superman Returns, Brendan Ralph Superman, it's just, it's all good right then and there. Except the only difference with this one is obviously there's no uh, ball joints on the shoulders, but there's a reason why, and it's all part of the action feature. But before we get to that, let's take a look at this. This is the Kryptonite Bomb. There's a painted time step right there. It looks like three seconds. That's pretty bad. <laughs> That's too bad for Superman to even try to save himself. That's 
Well, aside from that, this kryptonite bomb looks pretty dang nice. It's nicely uh, detailed with this transparent and glossy green, I think. So, yeah, I really do like how this is painted up. I just really like that tiny little three second detail, even though that could be bad for Superman in general and the supposedly the building that he might be inside of right now, or that it just might be, I don't know. You can interpret it any way you can, but this, this is still pretty nice. So this actually does go in this lead box here, which I think I might have to put that in there and flip this over so that could go in. All right, so I got the box in position. And you can see the detailing of this box. It looks pretty basic, but it does have some nice detail from a little few areas here and there. That might be just the plastic in general, but it's also have these uh, these cracks over here for Superman to hold the lead case. And then over here, as you can see this, this over here is what Superman, if he can't see it, but if he can get any closer to it, that right there reveals the kryptonite bomb. And it looks a little bit more detailed I guess from there like that could be from this button you push it down and you can see a lot better so it's like so it's like autofocus or something like that but with all honesty it looks pretty cool now, as I said the arms are locked in place so right now I have Superman here in position to break the thing and the arms are literally locked up and let's see how it will perform oh, I guess that did work well, that action feature actually works pretty dang good. Like, the arms are really tight and straightforward, and he slams it down, and it's pretty freaking cool. Even though it's still kind of sad to see Superman suffering right in front of this kryptonite, but I will get that out of the way. This is another comparison between the two, and like I said before, I am loving how this Superman figure looks, especially that head sculpt. That really looks like Brandon Routh. With this one, this one's a 50-50, but if you put this on, it will obviously uh, take away that 50-50 and put it at least back to 100% at least. <laughs> Although both do look great. I still love this, how fun it can be to dress them up or dress them out. And it does have uh, ball jointed shoulders, but yet again on this one, this one got a lot loose. So I put rubber bands on them to keep them from being any looser, but I'll keep this figure in the Clark Kent disguise. And this figure over here, well, <laughs> I just love it. Also, the arms aren't loose, so it's pretty dang cool. That's a bonus for me. And also, I tried this out. So, X-Men Alert Superman is now Clark Kent. And honestly, I think I still like it as much as I do the other one. But this one, of course, has the Titan Fist and everything. But again, like I said before, it definitely matches Brandon Routh, especially with these glasses. I think it really does suit him a lot more. But this, one, this figure in particular has like the perfect likeness that well nothing really gets away with it too much all right so that's going to conclude this review of the superman returns x-ray alert superman from mattel i really love this figure enough said nothing else to go over it was a pretty fun figure to go over i really love the way the head sculpt looks a lot better than the other one but that doesn't mean the other one pales in comparison i mean f to the fullest it's just the head sculpt Put it all anything, this got a uh, satisfying action feature, and I pretty much recommend buying this. It's also one of the cheaper figures to go around, so it's not that uh, difficult to find one. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, I'll be seeing you around.